GC Rad One here at Yamaha T Dub Club, and today we're going to talk about everything you wear from head to toe, from the outside all the way down to the skivvies. Yes, we're going to actually talk about underwear. <laughs> episode of Yamaha T-Dub Club, the ever pursuit of dual sport adventures, we're going to talk about gear and not the gears 15, 59, 42 gear ratios on your bike, but the gear that you actually wear from head to toe. And hopefully you saw the T-Dub's Kid video where he talked about his pants and dual sport gear. And what I'm going to do is kind of expand on what he's talked about and we're going to talk about everything in between from the outer shell all the way down to your underwear. Yes, we're going to talk about underwear. Underwear today. To kick things off though, we're also transitioning into winter riding season and now that I'm living out here in Alabama, it gets a lot colder. Well, technically it doesn't get colder than California because we do get snow in the mountains there. But typically we get two seasons and or you can chase the seasons based on what you like to do. Summertime we head for the mountains and in the wintertime we head for the desert. Yes, it gets cold in the desert, but usually during that time we're deep in our mummy bags in the middle of the night and riding in the nice cool weather during the day. Summertime we're riding in Big Bear at the higher elevations around 8,000 foot and it's, it's not as hot as down in the deserts. But with me moving out here to Alabama, winter time it's cold there is no escaping it you can't run the chiha at a whole whopping i think it's 3,000 foot so we're going to be talking about cold weather riding as well we're going to talk about pants because that's where t-dub's kid went through and what he and i both agree on is the clem pants are an awesome pant and this is my summer riding pant and basically, as you can see, it has mesh in the front. And, and these have been great pants. I've had these a couple of years. And what I like about them is they have the pockets on the front. Because typically, dual sport guys were stopping at the gas station. And I'll carry my wallet over here. I'll carry my phone over here on this side. Because, you know, with your phone, it's also your camera. So you're constantly taking it out, snapping photos, and such as that. So having pockets on the outside of the pants has been, you know, a big thing. This is my summer riding pants and I will go deep into the colder weather riding environment and we'll talk about that next because it's what you wear underneath when you have these mesh pants and what I will say about these mesh pants when you're sitting down no flow when you stand up that's when you get flow so when you start going into the cooler temperatures that's something to take into consideration do you want that cooling flow or do you not want the cooling flow but I have a solution to talk about that, and we'll go into that in a minute. So, there's those. Now, I've, I've been riding dual sport bikes for quite some time, and I've gone through several different bikes, and I have a set of a chair bees, and yes, it's a chair bees. You can see the logo there. That's how you say that word, a chair bees. These pants come with protection in the knees, and the chair bees company comes out of but these pants have been more of my dual sport pant when i was riding my bigger bikes and doing commuting to work and uh, this this pant and jacket combination does have a a liner uh and it's and it's been a really good kit and i'm gonna probably start trying this out here real soon more in the winter time we'll talk about that as in a bit too the the other thing i'm excited about i have this first gear jacket and pant combination and it has a rain coat and a thermal coat inside and this is yet to be used it's brand new to me this is probably a couple of seasons old i thought i was going to be doing some bigger winter riding before and, and never got to use it but that's that outer shells you know there's two types there's summer outer shells and winter outer shells and what i'm going to talk about mainly here is the in-betweens and i guess we'll start with head to toe and with that there are these things called balaclavas yes look it up it's a word i'll put everything that i talk about in a written form down below 
but this is a balaclava and this balaclava is actually a Nomex balaclava that came over from my rally days. It's a Sparco version and it's, it's pretty warm. It's not like the warmest, but when those in-between days you want something, this is what I've used. Now, I do have a winter version and it is a lot warmer and it is a lot tighter on your face but the area that's around your face is a thinner material but this section down here is is more thermally protected especially around your neck you get your goggles on you're all good i've used this in some cold desert rides uh back in the day so i brought all my gear with me you know we're gonna be riding in the cold weather we got to be equipped all right from your head the next thing is your core i will kind of go through several different things here because depending on the weather depending on what you're trying to do you'll you'll have different layers and my summer layer i have this super thin arcteryx uh, base layer and primarily you just don't want to wear cotton period when you're out motoing so having a lightweight shirt and and what i'll do with this shirt in the summertime is I will wear it underneath my jersey even just to have a secondary layer to help dissipate that water from sweating because you know you sweat a lot. Um, Arcteryx is a more of expensive version. This one uh, being back home here you know my my father passed away a few years so I've been raiding all his clothes and this is more of a uh, champion version so it's less expensive you can pick these up Walmart, Kmart, Target, I don't know, but it's just a athletic shirt and it's a really good idea to have one of these on underneath as a base layer just because it breathes and it doesn't hold all the water. The water will actually evaporate. I keep saying water, but I should say sweat, but the sweat will you know, actually evaporate through these shirts. So you just don't wanna have all that on you. So those are my summer weights and or I will actually wear the Arcteryx and go into my winter layers as well. With that, I have the Patagonia piece. It's a very lightweight piece. It's my second layer. Typically what will happen if I'm wearing this, which I was wearing this the other day and it wasn't actually hot enough, but when I wear this, I will just put these elbow pads on over the shirt. And these are the elbow pads that I wear. I'm always wearing my elbow pads and my knee pads because it's what you wear underneath your shell. And I'm getting old. I'm out riding by myself a lot. I'm trying stuff. I'm trying to go down these little trails. I'm trying to get off here and there. I, I tip over, you know, it happens. So I rather have this protection. So when I do fall off and I land on that rock or land on that sharp object log or whatever, I just have a little bit of protection. It's a great peace of mind. It gives you so much more comfort. Yeah, you look like a dork when you go to the restaurant with your buddies and they're all in their jeans and shirts and you got your gear on. But I guess what? They don't have to wear my scars and they don't have to lick my wounds. That's something I have to do. But let's continue on, second layer. This is, again, it's, it's very much like the base layer. It's a high-tech piece of gear. It's made to evaporate sweat and retain heat. That's the beautiful thing. Now, this is a level two base layer. This is a wool shirt. This is a mountain khaki wool shirt, and it's much warmer. But the, the beauty of wool is even when it gets wet, it will keep you warm. And this is gonna be on those days when it's just absolutely bone chilling cold outside, and I wanna stay warm. This is what I'm gonna put on over my layer one. Now. Here's another item that's worn underneath. It's a very old Troy Lee vest. It has a neoprene type front material and then just a more heat retaining uh, material on the back. But what I like about this vest is there's just days, usually in the spring is w when I'll wear this because you'll take off in the morning and it's quite chilly usually the the commute that you're doing before you get to the dirt and i'll wear this just to cut that wind i i've worn this just over my jersey it'll cut that wind you know your arms are okay but you just want to you know keep that core warm you know you go at it like that and say this is this is a jersey 
I'll wear all of these different items underneath. I mean, you always want to be repping, right? It's like, I, I don't know why. You know, motocross guys, I completely understand. They wear their jerseys because they got to represent their team and they want to look sharp and they have the, you know, da-da-da-da-da. They have all their Under Armour protection on. We technically don't have to wear jerseys, but uh, I don't know. I guess I'm still that fight in between. I could just wear that and wear the jacket. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It just depends. But a vest, a vest of any sort, any kind that's like lightweight, because what I'll do is when I get off, you know, say at lunch or whatever, I'll just take this bad boy, pack it up, put it in my camelback, and then on that commute home in the dark, when it's like, you know, temperatures are dropping again, this is a great item to have. Oh man, I didn't bring it up to the table, but what I also carry, I mainly carry it in my backpack, but it's a 511 tactical raincoat. It's a very lightweight raincoat. I mean, it was not very expensive, but it's just a little shell that'll cut the wind or, you know, cut the rain because you get caught out. And I always keep it in my backpack because that's when, you know, you need it when you're out and you're like, oh man, I should have brought that thing and you forgot about it. All right, so staying on with the, with the tops, um, Gloves. I, I have so many pairs of gloves, it's ridiculous, but you've probably seen these gloves here in any video, more so than any other pair of gloves. But typically, I will also carry a second pair of gloves. I have some of these old cold weather mechanics wear gloves. And I will, you know, sometimes you just, you know, you get your hands wet, you need another pair of gloves. Also, too, in my camelback, I will carry a pair of uh, latex gloves or mechanics gloves. There's been several times where we're up in Big Bear. Coming down in the evening, it starts getting cold. You just put those on underneath your regular gloves and they, they help cut a lot of wind. And that's just a, just a nice little tip. And uh, sorry I'm not showing you that stuff, but I'm telling you, just get a couple of sets, put them in your backpack and they should just always be there. You know, sometimes you might have to actually work on your bike. And uh, you don't want to get your hands dirty to put back in your gloves. Maybe you don't care. But when you're coming off a mountain and it's super cold and you need some extra layer on your glove, if you have those latexes, just put them on and there you go. All right, so now we're going to go downstairs. We're going to go into the, let's start at the bottom and come up. How about that? So socks. Uh, traditionally, MX socks are these big kind of, I, I hate to say it, but I almost think that they're mainly cotton, and uh, I've started using these less and less, but they are quite fluffy. But what I've been using more of lately is, I'm a huge Stance Socks fan. I wear Stance Socks. I have Stance Socks on right now. But Stance also has an athletic department. They've been making more and more athletic socks, and I actually found these MX Socks and they've been really good. They have a lot more support in, in the foot and my, my feet run cooler with, with these socks. So coming into wintertime, I'm like, man, I might need to get these bad boys out. But just the other day, I've had these socks here, I can't tell you how long, and uh, I ran into a blowout. And this just happened the other day. I was like, man, I'm gonna be shooting this video and I'm gonna have like, hey, look at me. I'm getting free air. I gotta go. But I got backups. These bad boys right here are called seal skins and with a Z. And again, I'll, I'll link them down below. These are waterproof socks, my friends. Waterproof socks. Now, I originally bought these socks to wear when I was mountain biking in the, in the rain and the wet and the cold and you know mountain bike shoes are hard and water will go through them and all that kind of good stuff so i i wore these to cut all of that and keep my feet warm on those days when it was just blistering cold these bad boys are most likely going to be going into use this winter and, I, and i'm i'm holding them like this because yeah they have some shape to them and and such they're they're a little weird when you first put them on if, if you've surfed and you've had booties uh, you know, like a wetsuit, it's kind of like what they feel like at first. But once you start wearing them, you get used to them, and they're probably going to be like excellent in the moto boots. Uh, they're they're a little bit thicker, but most of us have 
boots that are already broken in, they could use taking up some slack. But these are awesome. They've kept my feet warm. Actually, I have to make sure that I only wear them on the super cold days because they can keep your feet too warm and you get a little, little, little sweaty. Okay, so like I was saying with Clem pants, I, I will wear like some sport. These are like, uh, I got these for Christmas. Someone gave them to me for Christmas, one of family members. At first I was like, man, I'm not running, but athletic, they're, they're thick, they're warm. They're not like sweatpants. They're, again, they're of the tech material to where they'll uh, evaporate the, the sweat, but they are greatly warm. Like you could be hiking and in the winter time and just wearing shorts and these and you'd be totally good. So wearing these uh, underneath your moto pants, especially if you're running like those more summertime clam pants, that'd be great. But maybe you're in an area where you just need an extra layer underneath, then I would highly, highly recommend you can pick these up. These were like a, I think they're like a Reebok pair or something like that. But again, I'm gonna say any of your big sporting good, Walmart, you know, Amazon, blah, blah, blah. But I will try to link you a set of these down below as well they're just it's just a good layer to have and they do keep you warm seriously okay i'm gonna no no i'm gonna go like this all right so most of you guys are probably wearing your boxer underwear okay you that's fine to like sag at the grocery store when you get out of your car and and you know show off I don't even understand the whole hip hop sagging action thing. My era was not sagging like that. We were sagging in a different way, but yeah, that's a whole nother thing. But the problem with this is, this is cotton. You can't wear cotton when you're riding. I mean, you can, but what happens when you ride with cotton? You get the saggy butt, soggy butt, soggy bottom butt. There you go. Try that one on for size. I don't, I don't wear cotton when I'm riding. Now, me coming from mountain bike and motorcycle, I actually wear Fox padded short. These are great. They actually, you know, give you a little bit more support. Um, it has the padding underneath, which, you know, we all wish we could have a seat concept seat, but we don't. And uh, so this has kind of been my little secret for long distance adventures. I, I don't care if I'm gonna go hop on the moto for the day, I'm, I'm wearing those guys right there. But let's go back to underwear. Maybe you just can't get down with the mountain bike and the pad and blah, blah, blah. These, save them for when you go out with your honey. She'll be impressed. Make sure they're clean. If you're going to wear underwear, make sure you wear some high tech, again, more technical apparel, Check these bad boys out. These are some Duluth trading briefs. They're, you know, they fit you tight. I don't need anything flapping around, but these aren't gonna hold all the sweat. They're gonna evaporate and they're like really, really good. And on another note, I have uh, these x -Becs, and I'll link you these down below. And uh, I'll just throw this in here right now. These are just super comfortable underwear. I've hiked in them a few times. They're, they're great in the wintertime. They're okay in the summertime, but they're just super comfortable all the time. So I will throw that information down below as well. I wear knee guards all the time. I'm prone to fall. And I've had these bad boys. These suckers are old right here. I don't know, 2006. I don't know they have a lot of miles they've gone through a lot of different motorcycles they've actually gone through several different pairs of boots but i will wear these you know they go over the socks but if i'm wearing my thermal leggings they'll just go over those leggings underneath the pants wear them they're very very good for you to not mess up your knees we're all if you're young you're gonna be old one day and if you're old then you already know and it's okay to fully gear up and you, you got to look after yourself who else is going to look after you no one else is going to look after you so you got to look after yourself all right so that's pretty much it from top to bottom i just covered underwear i just covered socks i just covered undershirts overshirts vests multiple layers but uh here's what i'll do for you i 
my uh, my super comfy Xbex. I have a pair of extra large, a pair of mediums, and a pair of smalls. And if any of you guys think that you're one of these three sizes, comment down below and and tell me that you would like one. I only have three pairs. I I can't. That's that's all I got. <laughs> uh, so. I don't know how I'm going to choose, but just tell me, if you want a pair, just tell me which size you are. Small, medium, extra large. Maybe I'll go through and the first person that comments, you know, my size, this is what, you know, I'll, I don't know, I'll see. I'll look at your page and, and if you have videos, I will say this, only if you have videos posted will I choose your page. If you don't have videos posted, yeah yeah you gotta post something you gotta have at least one video up in order for me to even consider floating these to you because that's the whole premise is i want you to to try these and and pass it forward you gotta comment on forward and maybe buy your homie a pair and pass it forward i have three pairs here and i'm gonna pass them forward and I will link the information about the company. That's kind of their whole premise. Is they want you to tell your fellow dude, like, hey, dude, you look like you're sweating there. You're overheating. You might need to rock some, some cooler some cooler draws, man. All right. So, uh, I don't know. That's, that's really it. And, hey, man, I just checked. Postal service stuff is running super slow. Um, I don't how do I contact you through YouTube? I think there's a discussion section in the YouTube channel. So I will, if I choose you, I will try to have a discussion with you in the discussion tab. And I will also, in the comments below, I will list the three winners uh, that I've chosen and then I will try to contact you through the discussion section and if uh, if you don't get back to me and give me your address and all that kind of good stuff I'll probably just pass it on forward the next time but just a little experiment I was unpacking I had these I was doing all this so I'm like hey man like I've not given anything away on my channel but might as well give away some underwear all right okay if if you like this video just give me a little shout out down below subscribe if you want to I mean of course I'm gonna ask you to but only if you want to uh, and all that kind of good stuff and uh, like I said everything I discuss is down below leave me a comment tell me what you think tell me what you're rocking I want to know head to toe give me the list da -da 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 -da. break it down in the description let's go all right man I read all those things it's fun even if you give me a hard time, I try to come back and not debate it out with you, but at least just share opinions. That's what this is all about. Like, my way is not the right way. Definitely not the only way. But this is just the way I've been doing it. And, of course, you've been doing it as well. I don't know. Tell me what you think. All right. Stay hydrated and uh, let's keep on riding. Let's keep on riding. Let's keep on riding. Let's keep on riding.
Break.